What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a very important FIFA 23 tutorial here on the channel. Today we are going to talk about defending and what is the best way to learn how to defend in FIFA 23. I do believe that practice, experience and decision making is the difference between an average player at defending and a world class player. I cannot offer you practice in this video but I can give you a bit from my experience and I can show you in-game examples with in-depth explanations of the decision making in those particular moments of the game. In my opinion, that is the best way that you can learn how to defend in the new game. Almost everyone knows how to do a standing tackle, how to do a sliding tackle, how to use the jockey movement. If you don't know how to do it, I have a tutorial about the basics in the description down below. It is from previous seasons, but it applies in every FIFA version. This first example right here is defending in front of the penalty box by using a lot of jockey movement. As you can see, I am switching between my left back, between my center back and always trying to keep close to the opponent. I do that by using the jockey movement, you are seeing it on the controller, or the jockey movement combined with the sprint button. This will be a running jockey movement and will help you run a bit faster but in the same time do the jockey. Never ever in this instance am I rushing a tackle. You can rush a tackle maybe in the opponent's second half but not in front of your penalty box. I am waiting for the perfect moment to try and do a tackle or to pressure the opponent. That perfect moment is when the opponent is trying to turn with the ball with the new technical dribbling that let's be honest it's kind of slow at times and that is the moment when I pressure him with my CM CDM and get the ball. In this particular scenario right here I am using the right analog stick to select the center back and that is very important because I am going to cover over there the space and cover the run of the striker exactly after I do that and I'm safe he can't go further I will change super fast to the fullback and pressure the opponent and win the ball a bit of anticipation is always so so helpful when defending in this instance of the game I'm using the jockey movement and I am anticipating the pass that the CM of the opponent will do by using the jockey movement I am slowly moving in that direction, intercepting the ball and what I love about defending is the fact that you can go super fast, super fast from a problematic uh, scenario in your defense to scoring a goal as you are seeing in this example. One of the most important things when defending is knowing exactly when to do a standing a tackle uh, and this scenario shows exactly when to do it and when not to do it. First of all, when not to do it. For example here Cristiano Ronaldo is not facing the defender, uh, he's open to do a reverse elastico and get rid of the defender, that's a bad bad decision for me to try a standing tackle from there. But afterwards when I'm perpendicular to the striker I do indeed do a standing tackle and win the ball, so try to be in the direction of a striker uh, perpendicularly facing him. This one right here is a beauty. I use the right analog stick to select the center back and in the same time I am covering a short pass to the striker so maybe I do an interception or a long pass to the striker. In the moment when I see that he has no chance of passing uh, to the striker, he's not thinking of doing that, I fast switch to the right back and afterwards it's easy peasy to get the ball as I dominate the winger physically. Using the central midfielders in FIFA 23 in order to apply pressure and win the ball is one of the most important things that you need to master. For example, right here, I am anticipating the pass to the striker and I am rushing in over there with Chouameni. He's got anchor on him, he's gonna be lengthy, he's gonna run fast for a long period of time and as you can see, I am able to take advantage of the slow first touch of Cristiano Ronaldo and immediately get in there and win the ball. Use a lot the CMs, that is very very important. Don't 
get risky trying to anticipate with the center backs use the cms especially now at the beginning of the game this moment right here of defending is again a thing of beauty i am controlling in the same time the center back and the cm i am using the right analog to switch to the center back and cover the ground in the moment that I see that he doesn't have a chance to pass it there, I switch super fast to the CM and I close the gap over there, making almost impossible the next pass for him. After that, I move to the other CM and force the opponent eventually into a mistake as I pressure him. This next example over here shows how patient you need to be in defense. My opponent is moving the ball from the right back to the left back he's playing a good possession game i'm trying to use the offside trap to um, put my defender line a bit higher now over here he gets in the penalty box he turns around again i don't rush anything i'm using the second man press to pressure him and then using the other cm to do the tackle i'm not a big fan of tackling inside the penalty box it's risky and you can uh, make a penalty so for example right here all i do is jockey movement i anticipate the fact that he will try to open his shooting angle and i just move with the jockey in that direction and my center back will be doing an automatic tackle once i get in the range of a tackle of course Sometimes you also need to be a bit aggressive with the center backs. As you're seeing in this example, I am in a position uh, in which I either win the ball with the center back uh, or the opponent goes through with Holland or with a pass to his, uh, to his teammate. The big advantage here is the fact that I am positioned perfectly. I use the jockey movement. I'm in a perpendicular position to Holland and all I have to do yet again, get close to him and he won't have the correct angle available to do a pass or anything else. This right here is another moment of anticipation. Uh, it's actually quite easy to figure out uh, what he's gonna do or what is my only chance of intercepting the ball. He could go uh, with a pass to the right back, to the left back. Those are safe passes for him. I have zero chance of intercepting that, but I don't lose anything if I will use the jockey movement and move to his left central midfielder direction. That's exactly, that's the only way uh, I can intercept a ball and I don't lose anything if I do that move. I do it fast, nicely, get the ball back and ready for a counter attack. There are also moments when you are in the penalty box or close to the penalty box and you gotta do a tackle. Uh, you can't risk of just using uh, the jockey movement. You gotta do a tackle, last man standing over there. And that is exactly what happens here. But again, if you see the angle, I am perpendicularly positioned, directly facing the striker, do a tackle, win the ball. That's exactly what happens in the next example right here. Perfect positioning. I see he's moving slowly with the ball. Standing tackle, win the ball, start a counter-attack. There are certain moments when you don't need to use the jockey movement or a standing or sliding tackle and you can win the ball, of course. As you can see here, I lock into the trajectory of the ball, of the striker, and I just put myself in front of the striker manually. I, use the, I win the ball with ease, pass it to the fullback. This right here, though, this is an instance when you gotta be aggressive. And as you can see, I get close to the striker and then boom, standing tackle, standing tackle, win the ball. One of my favorite ways to defend in, uh, in the opponent's half, because yeah, you can defend over there, over there also, is to select my center back with the right analog, as you are seeing here, and I gently push him forward. To the towards the striker so i put pressure on him exactly in the moment when he's doing a pass and i managed to get the interception there are also desperate moments when defending like in this example here your only option there is no other one sliding tackle baby and sliding tackles are so so good this season just look at that sliding tackle right there with diego carlos we save a goal that was 100% going to happen. Another very crucial thing to do when defending is 
make sure you know which player the opponent is controlling. Uh, for example, here, he's got Valverde. He ain't the best dribbler. If he's gonna use the left analog stick to move the ball around, uh, it's not gonna be good for him. That's exactly what happens here. He's slow with the movements. I take advantage of that with Chouameni and win the ball. But don't go doing this type of pressure if the opponent has a super agile midfielder. Also, uh, one of the things that pro players are doing and one of the things that good players in FIFA are doing, always use the D-pad offside trap to try and push the defender line a bit up front. You don't want to get with the defender line in your own penalty box and defend only there. Uh, you can press two times down on the D-pad and offside trap will be activated only once. This will make your defender line go a bit forward and will help you in putting pressure on the opponent. Alternating between uh, the running jockey movement and the normal jockey movement is also the key to success in FIFA uh, 23, actually in any FIFA. And uh, as you are seeing in this example right here, I am selecting the left back to cover over there the wing, immediately selecting also the CM to cover the run of his midfielder. After that is safe, I fastly switch to the left back and using the running jockey movement, put pressure on the opponent and win the ball. Defending with your center backs is risky, but at times mandatory. Like in this example right here, I was over aggressive. I don't have my CMs anymore. And I see his striker doing a run that is potentially very harmful to my defense. I switch super fast to my center back and cover that exact angle. The result is superb. He does the interception, wins the ball. This one right here is, is a beauty to watch. Here I bait the opponent into thinking that he's got a central player open and that he should be passing the ball to him. In the moment when he does it, actually half a second before because I'm anticipating the fact that he's seeing that player empty and it will take a while for the pass button to load, I move towards that player with the running jockey movement and bang, do the interception. One more thing that you need to take into consideration when defending in front of your penalty box is the fact that you need to master the second man press. Uh, second man press, as we are seeing in this example, uh, I am sending my full back to pressure a bit the opponent and I am using my CM to cover the empty spaces in defense. For example, I have the pass button as second man press. Probably you have another button because mine is... Uh, is custom differently uh, while i am pressing with the uh, with the second man press as i was saying i'm covering the ground with the other cm and eventually winning the ball very very careful here don't be over aggressive with the second man press because you might uh, let too many spaces leave too many spaces open in your defense in situations like this i would not advise you to select the center back, especially if you've got the CM close. I would advise you to close down the gap with the CM, force him into a bad angle, and only when it's mandatory there, when he does the first touch, the striker go on and tackle him because that's when he's most vulnerable, when doing the first touch. I don't think I have enough clips to emphasize the importance of a CDM. In this scenario right here, using the offside trap to move my defender line up and afterwards using Chouameni to close down the gaps and afterwards pressure the striker and win the ball back. One more very, very important aspect. At defending in the opponent's half when you're doing pressing, you can do, I call it the triple man press. Triple man press, why? Because you can have two defenders doing the second man defending and the player that you are controlling. You can do that by pressing two times and holding the second man press button. This will trigger two of your defenders to aggressively pursue their opponents and close down the gaps. Very, very careful here. I advise you to use it um, only in the opponent's third. Else, if you use it in your own half, Sometimes your center backs will be selected and you will have 
big big empty spaces in your defense also try to position yourself with the player that you are controlling uh, between the two defenders that are being triggered by the triple man uh, press that's the way in my opinion to properly use this technique there you have it boys a lot of in-game examples uh, to give you the experience and to help you with decision making in fifa 23 in defending in ultimate team and online seasons if you've got any questions drop a comment below let me know as always you're more than welcome to show your support to the, towards the tutorial uh, series my name is Ovi, and i'll see you fellas in the next videos bye bye